You've got to feel sorry for snipers in this day and age. Once respected and feared as the silent assassin of modern combat, striking without warning, but thanks to online video games, they've now been demoted to the rank of pussy. The class choice of campers, too spineless to get into actual combat, and wusses who no-scope their rifles as if they're heavily unbalanced super shotguns. Luckily, those lovely people at Rebellion have come to their defence with their latest entry into their Sniper Elite series. To the uninitiated, Sniper Elite might sound rather boring. You only use a sniper in the game? Of course not, don't be silly. You still get to use your pistols and machine guns for more in-your-face action, but think of the sniping sections more as the icing on a rather enjoyable stealthy cake. Carefully avoiding patrols to make your way to the epitomal position, and then, just at the right moment, give your target some lead to think about. It's really engrossing. In fact, I'd go as far as to say it does a better job at stealth than Ground Zeroes did. But in general, the game feels kinda similar to a Dreamcast game. It's hard to explain unless you've played a Dreamcast game, but it's got that slightly unpolished, slightly clunky feeling to the game, combined with its confusion on if it wants to be a simulator or an all-out arcade experience. The latter is definitely the case for the Nazis in the game, who seem to have the intelligence of a rather stupid potato. For instance, you can only snipe from a position twice, maybe three times if you're lucky, before the enemy gets a bearing on your position. Then all you need to do is run a certain distance before they lose interest, and then you can go back to the exact same position you're in earlier, and they're completely lost again in your camping spot. They're that thick! Then again, if the AI was nothing but Mensa inductees, then you're probably not going to have as much of a good time. But of course I can't do a review about Sniper Elite 3 without mentioning the best feature, the bullet time kill cams. I don't know what it is about them, but the sheer satisfaction of watching someone's nutsack get obliterated in slow motion never gets old. Don't worry about being able to have kids for it, nobody wants to shag a bloke with half his face missing because that's where my second bullet is going, mate. But as rare as they are, I do love me some sniping games leaning towards the arcade as evidenced by the fact I've got a Silent Scope arcade machine that's currently rotting outside in the back garden as I'm too stupid to measure the door widths before buying it, so I'm probably biased in this review. But Sniper Elite 3, while rough around the edges, is a good slice of old-fashioned fun. It takes itself more seriously than Wolfenstein New Order does, which is ironic as it's anything but. But it's definitely worth a perusal during this summer drought of games. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button below and be first to see future gaming videos and reviews such as this. And why not check out some of my other recent reviews below? But thanks for watching, peoples!